Nell, man of the match, the way you're playing at the moment in general, you must be buzzing. Um, yeah, I'm just loving my football at the moment. Um, I thought it was it was tough. It was tough coming to the club um, on, on on bad form. Obviously, it wasn't the start I wanted, but I think huge credit to the lads. They've made me feel so comfortable. Obviously, what doesn't break you makes you stronger. So I've just I've just been tunnel vision really and focusing on myself, um, working with my team behind the scenes, um, reminding myself what I'm good at, and I think just working day in day out. Um, and being real focused has helped me develop as a player. And I think I can't be satisfied with what I've done. I've got to keep going. Obviously, <clears throat> when I came, I said I'm going to embrace the challenge. I'm going to be full on. I, I love the interaction with the fans, um, and I just try, 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 enjoy it every, every minute that I can, with 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 one goal goal in mind, which is to develop as a player, but to also help the team. The team comes first, and. To develop as a player, I need to be a team player. I can't, I can't shine if the team doesn't help me. So I think it's a huge credit to the lads. Every, I don't know how many players there are. It's not just the starting eleven. Like Toby coming on, scoring. Even behind the scenes, the injured lads. Someone like, someone like Rod, <coughs> sent a half of loads of experience, being great for me before the game, giving me encouragement. Obviously, he's got to not be, to be, not to be involved. Just coming back from injury, but just the little things. The, the, the skipper, Callum Guy. Obviously, always helping me, being good, um, and I think Mark, Mark's been huge for me, having a, such such an experienced keeper talking me through the game, um, off the pitch. The the lads love to banter me because I ask so many questions, but I'm here to learn and I'm not going to stop. So um, I just think I just need to keep keep going, keep learning from the lads because they've got so much experience and I'm only going to become a better player. So yeah. Really interesting, Daniel. You two or three sentences in there, and you're acknowledging what was a tough start at the club. It was, wasn't it? You didn't hide away from that. We saw you behind the scenes, your own biggest critic. What does it say about you that you've come through that? Um, I think I've just got real high high standards. Obviously, it's set from my background, where where I've come from. I think I've I've always kept that with me. My, my standards are high. Um, and I think as a team, we've set some real high standards and it's, it's, it's about sticking it to it now, obviously. I know, I know what, I, what I should do better, obviously. I want to watch back the goal. I'm not too sure if I could have done more, but as a defender, I can always do more. So um, I just think I have to be real critical of my game because I'm learning. I'm not going to be the finished article. Obviously, the fans have been patient with me. Obviously, I come in, had to find my feet and stuff. But now, now I'm enjoying my football and I'm getting more comfortable, but I can't stop there. I just need to get better and better. I reckon if we cut you through the middle, there'd be Southampton blood coursing through those veins. What has happened here? Because you've really taken this club to your heart. Um, I just love the club, you know. Um, the fans are great. I think the, the adrenaline rush I get from, from interacting with the fans is something, something you, can't, you can't beat. It's one of the best feelings in the world. And... I just love every minute of them. Um, obviously, we went through some tough times, but I always wanted to clap them because without the fans, we're nothing. You know, they keep the club going. That heart of the, they're the heart of the club. Like I've had some messages over a few days about how much this club means to people. You know, um, and it means a lot to me. Obviously, I play with my heart on my sleeve. If I'm here, I'm going to give my all to the team. And at the end of the day, it's about the fans. So yeah, I love. At the end of the day, I love Southampton. I'm from Southampton. But I love this club too, and this is this is where I'm at. My focus is with this club, and he knows what, what, what the future holds. The manager has just said, I don't know if you heard him, that this is one heck of a university to, to learn the game. Does it feel like that? Do you feel like you're learning every time you kick a ball? Um, yeah, 100%. Even in the even in the dressing room, I was speaking to, to Maz the other day, because, um, the, the, like I said, the lads mentioned, I just asked questions and questions. And I was saying, it's like, it's not work experience, but this is, I'm at one of the best places to learn. Like... I need to soak it up. I'm like a sponge, so I'm here. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask questions. I'm gonna be a pain in the neck, you know. I might sound dumb, but I want to learn, you know. Um, there's no point just being around and just going through the motions. Now, nah, like I need to embrace the embrace the journey, because I'm sure I'll look back in the future and this will be a huge huge part of of my career, if I have a, a long one, hopefully. But yeah, I just think it's about learning. You're never too old to learn, you know. So. Never too old. I mean, it feels like I'm talking to a 28-year-old experienced 300 games or whatever. You're not there yet, Daniel, but you, you're really sort of focused on what you want to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm far from there, but I think, I think what's important, I'll, I'll keep getting reminded, um, it's, about, it's about 
the future, you know? Like, I need to have one set goal. I know what I'm good at. I've come in to learn, main and foremost, to defend, you know? Um, it took me some time to, to, to learn and adapt, but <clears throat> like I said, the, the best place to learn that is on the pitch. Um, I, I could watch 20 clips of, of, of us playing and think, think I've learned, but you need to be on the pitch to experience, know where to be, um, and you need to accept the fact you're going to make mistakes. Um, obviously, I try to minimise mistakes. I'm a defender. I need to be, be, be relied on, but it's how, it's how I react from that. And thinking, thinking for positive, you can't, you can't affect what's happened in the past, you know. We've had some disappointing results, but on to the next, you know. That's the great thing about football. Tuesday's round the corner, another chance to, to make things better. Like, you've always got a chance to redeem yourself. Like the games are coming thick and fast, and hopefully we can do good as a team. How different is it from 21s and 23s? What's that, sorry? How different is it from 21s and 23s? I think it's a huge difference, you know, difference. Um, <clears throat> I'd say the main difference is um, 21 to 23, you can't really build that atmosphere. You can't build the pressure. As much pressure as you can put on yourself, the external pressure is huge, you know. What was it, 8,500 fans today? Like, that's, that's incredible. That's pressure within itself. <laughs> with the pressure that we put on ourselves as, as teammates and, and the gaffer, you know? And even even the table, like, a few days ago, we were in in big problems, you know? We still we still aren't clear. We, we still want to win every game, you know? But that, that's reality. Like, I think within the first month of coming, unfortunately, we weren't doing too well. Um, we saw um, a manager go, which wasn't, wasn't too nice, but I'm, I'm learning, like, that's reality. You don't see this in academy football, and I think that's that's, that's why it's great. So much has happened um, so quickly, but it's about staying focused, and it's just reality now. It's men, men's football. This means a lot to people. This is this is the Carlisle's club. This is a community. You know, um, it's not just a kickabout. So yeah. That interaction with the fans, you were the last off the pitch today because so many of them want to speak to you personally and you're up in, in amongst them and talking to them. What's that like for, for a young man to be, to be having that type of experience at this stage of your career? Um, I think it's huge, you know. Um, I love it. I just love it. Um, it's so welcoming as, as a young player to know that they're all behind me. It, it, gives, you, it gives you momentum, um, <coughs> gives you that fire in your belly, you know. I love them all. Obviously, I'll probably touch wood. If I have a bad game, I'll get a stick. But that's football. That's reality. Um, when when you do something wrong, expect to get critiqued. Um, but then when you do something well, like we've shown, they're the first people behind us. They're the first people saying, well done. So uh, the sooner you realise that, the better. Like, they're huge. And I think we should just keep thanking every single one of them because 8,500 fans or whatever, was, that's huge, you know? Um, People spending their well, well, hard worked money to come watch us, and we're just trying to give everything back. And every single one in the change room is giving 120 percent to, to to help the team stay up. I think I could talk to you for hours. I'm going to ask you one more because we've got a few of journalists waiting to talk to you as well. Four in a row. What does that mean to that dressing room? It's huge. What what that's done is boosted us from the bottom. But there's what 11 more games to go. So we haven't done anything that yet. We haven't achieved anything yet. I think that shows how quickly things can change in football. Um, four games ago, it was so negative. The morale wasn't good. All we've done is play four games. There's 11 more games. Who knows what can happen in them 11 more games, you know? So I think it's game at a time. It's a long season. Um, 11 games is huge, you know? But we're, we're confident and we're going to stick together and everyone's going to gonna work to make sure we go 100% in them 11 games and hopefully finish strong. Superb, thank you. Thank you.